God bless Gatorland. Hey, you guys, it's me, Savannah, and it's time for the next vlog. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's a really big toothbrush because Savannah's got a really big mouth. But it's not for me. It's actually for this gator mouth behind me. This gator mouth has to be clean. Its teeth have to be shiny because dental hygiene is very important to us and to all our animals here at Gatorland. Looks like you're about to lose a tooth, bud. Uh, there you go. There you go. It's that front one you're about to lose. No? Okay, fine. Now let's have a history lesson about this amazing gator mouth. So we're out here in front of Gatorland. This is our iconic alligator mouth that was built in 1952, designed and built by Frank Godwin. He's one of the family members and owner of Gatorland. Now this is the only thing that survived our three alarm fire that we had on November 6th back in 2006. This place was all up in fire. Flames were just shooting out of the mouth of this thing. And this is the only thing that withstood that three alarm fire millions of people walk through this gator mouth. It's been on covers of books. It's been in the movie Vacation, right in the beginning in the clips. So this is one of our iconic things that we have at Gatorland, and we're glad it's made real strong and sturdy, made it through that fire. Now I know what you're thinking. From all the videos you've seen, you're thinking that Gatorland is just glamour and glitz and cutting meat and feeding alligators. But we actually do have to do hard work sometimes. You're gonna see. This is what happens on Thursday mornings at Gatorland. We're cleaning up. Yeah. Cleaning up poop. I went. I don't know. That was close. Let's look at the video. What are you guys doing, Greg? Awesome, the teeth. Getting you all cleaned up. Just remember to tuck and roll. Ah. No, no, just think. If you look like you're going to fall, just drop. Tuck if I look roll. like I'm going to fall, just drop. Yeah, just drop. Dan, don't stop filming. Okay. All right, we're up here cleaning Gator Head. What do we got to do? Oh, we need that hose. Yes, where are you? What? How y'all doing up here today? <laughs> she wanted my good side. Woo! <laughs> we're up here cleaning the Gator Head. It is pretty disgusting up here. I don't know who's in charge of this stuff up here. Is it you, Greg? Hey, no! Hey, guess what? We can what? go to gift shop and get you another one. Long as oh, yeah! Woo! Woo Woohoo! Free new clothes. New clothes. <laughs> I'm always scared Savannah's going to fall off the top of it. I'm terrified right now. She's getting but a little nervous. I, I am definitely. Your Greg's getting head all wet. Now you know what Mike feels like every time we go into a crocodile pit. Looking good down here. So crocodiles grow teeth uh, pretty much instantly throughout their life. They'll keep regrowing them, they break them off, they grow them in. And as we're waiting to clean the pool, I watched Sultan over there chewing on something, and I was wondering what it is, and look at that, it was a tooth that just fell out of his mouth. You can actually see there's a little bit of blood, just like when humans lose teeth, he has a little bit of a connection there, but they're caps. So this is just part of a tooth, and you would see it like this, and underneath there's a giant root and they'll keep growing and growing up to two to 4,000 teeth in their whole life. So Sultan there must just felt that it was a little bit crooked. He bit down with his jawline and it pretty much forced itself out. Now that he has the cap off, it gives the tooth space underneath to grow out and it'll help him, you know, grab things, bite down in his food, crush stuff. And that's pretty much the biggest tooth I've ever seen him lose. And that's what we call the maxillary. So it's about the fourth tooth back or so in a crocodile. That was amazing. Good, 
Come on in here and get your picture while I jump down. This gator made a lot of turf happen. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. And then it's out of here. Yeah, that's the water he's on his mouth up in this car. Yeah, I got hers out in here with a little deep fresh boy. That's hard to come it off pretty good. Well, you know what I'm saying? That's got yeah. these little pythons on it, son. That's what I'm calling Hey, the boss is leaving. As soon as he gets out of here, I'm gone too. I'm going down to Pearls. I'm gonna get one of them world famous cheeseburgers. I'm gonna, feed, I'm gonna go feed my pet squirrel peanut. Well, I hope you guys liked that vlog. I'm in the splash park now because I gotta shower down and I gotta get to work. But we really hope you guys like this. Post in the comments below and let us know what you think. Ring that notification bell and smash that like button. Like, like. And we will see you guys again on the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching and for being a part of our family.